question. What has the eyes of many around the world fixed on Denmark? Answer, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, taking place in Copenhagen from December 7th through the 18th. Also referred to as the Global Warming Conference, these meetings will be making plans for major changes in the lives of people in many nations. As the new president of the EU, Herman von Rompuy, stated in a speech reported by the BBC, 2009 is the first year of global governments with the establishment of the G20 in the middle of the financial crisis. And he continued, the climate conference in Copenhagen is another step toward global management of our planet. It's easy to see why skeptical American conservative reporters read global management of our planet as one world government and surrender of United States sovereignty. Furthermore, in late November, unnamed hackers collected thousands of emails and other documents from the Climate Research Unit at East Anglia University in the UK. These were later posted on a Russian file sharing server and revealed active discussions between politically correct scientists concerning, among other things, active attempts to shut out the data and opinions of scientists that dissent from the popular global warming viewpoint. The revelation and developing furor has been dubbed Climate Gate. Nevertheless, Climate Gate has raised the destabilizing concern about politically corrupted science, which many have long suspected. So whose science can you trust? This specter is compounded by the supranational tone of the global management of our planet and the Global Warming Conference in Copenhagen. In the United States, chewing tobacco is often called snuff, and one longtime brand is named after the host city of the Global Warming Conference. Recently, a commentator derisively described the Danish conference by summing up the dissenting view about global warming. Copenhagen is just snuff. Maybe? Time will tell. In the final analysis, there is one salient point raised by EU President von Rompuy. We do need to take a major step toward global management of our planet. We need a one world government. But who can be trusted to be fair, truthful, and benevolent to all the world? The good news is that a world government is coming, and soon. However, that government's most important representative will not darken the door of this Copenhagen conference. Yet in spite of that, he will in fact be able to control the planet's thermostat because he created it. That leader will also bring about a far more important change, spiritual climate change. You can learn more. Just read about the return of Jesus Christ. For GN Magazine, I'm Randy Stiver.